Good evening, everyone. So it is seven o'clock and it is Sunday. So we're ready for our Sunday show. We're starting a new invoice period. So I know I didn't get the invoices out. It's because I had a delayed shipment. And um, so you should get those invoices tonight. Hi, Ashley. You should get those invoices tonight. I wanted to make sure I was going to get my uh, shipments in of your jewelry, the pre-ordered jewelry before I sent those out. So they should arrive tomorrow. They were delayed due to the storm. So we'll have those for you and I will get those invoices out tonight. All right. All right. Pasadena Hermit. Is that you, Carol? I can't tell the, the picture is so tiny. Um, but good evening. <laughs> all right. So tonight is Max's pick. So he picked out all the jewelry that we're going to show tonight. That's kind of his thing. He likes to pick out jewelry, including the necklace that I have on. He picked that out too. Hi, Marjorie, including the color. Okay. Yeah, Carol. Okay. I'm just making sure that it was you. I thought that looked like you in the picture, but it's so tiny. All right. Um, I don't know if I need to tell you anything else. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, where are my numbers? My one through 14 is gone. Well, there's number one. We'll start with number one. How about that? Number one is the necklace that I have on. This is Stellar Heiress. This is the red version on Insta or on Facebook. It does look a little bit more orange. So this is actually a true red. It uh, looks right on Instagram. Comes with these cute earrings. So you won't need to upgrade the earrings on this one. I also have this one in blue and in a yellow. So let's see. Max put those over here. This is the blue. So a pretty like a French blue or the Mykonos blue, that Greek blue. And then we have, sorry, the yellow. The yellow, pretty bright yellow as well. Yellow is also a great color for fall. Goes with all our fall colors. So the length is about here. This is without the extension. I did not use the extension. So this is without the extension. Hi, Ruth. Good to see you. And with the extension, it would come down here, about here, to the V on my shirt, on me. So we have Stellar Heiress. I have one more in red. I have three in blue and three in yellow. So if you would like this one, I'm just a hot mess tonight, aren't I? <laughs> if you would like this one, it is number one. And just tell me which color, the red, the yellow, or the blue. Hi, Megan. Good to see you. Here you go, Max. That's number one. I don't know where the rest of my numbers went. You were hanging up on the board there. Well, I have 15 through 35. I just don't have a uh, two through 14. Maybe they're in the room. All right. Anyway, maybe we're, we're smart enough to do it without it, right? These are pedal power in copper. So these are a an antique copper pedal earring, two layered, so 2D with the white rhinestone in the center. I do only have one of these left. This is the size and the color. So one remaining, Petal Power in copper. This is going to be number two. Number two. Whenever he comes back with those numbers or not, you know, whatever. Number two. So just remember your numbers. <laughs> All right. We've got a couple ladies in our congregation that really rock the wooden necklaces. We've got a, several of them, actually. This one is called... Dominican Disco in purple. Dominican Disco is purple and espresso colored wooden discs and the wooden beads in espresso as well. This is two layers. Our earrings are those brown discs on a fish hook back. Just put them in order in the... Number two. Yep. Just put them in order in the case. We'll be able to count. Okay. This one does lay down to, let's see, the bust. These do not have an extension included on them because they're not the chain um, closures. These are loop and bead closures, but you can put a little chain extension in between the loop and the bead. 
So if you do want to make this longer, let me know and I will include a necklace extension for you in a coordinating color. So I have just one of this necklace. This is Dominican Disco in purple. It is going to be number three tonight. Number three. So as long as Max keeps those in order, we are in business. <laughs> All right. Number four. Number four is Woven Whimsicality in brown. We just have one of these remaining as well. I see I forgot to take that number sticker off. So these are a woven medium brown on the bottom. We have our polished silver bar right through here and then the hammered disc at the top. These are our post earring and our post is right in the center of that hammered disc. Hi Jane, I see you're over here now. Oh no, you, were, you weren't here to begin with. Okay, hi Jane. <laughs> I'm confused. Esley and uh, Carol are on the other one. So this is the length and size. I do just have one of these left. So woven whimsicality in brown. Where are we at? We're at four. Mm -hmm. Is number four. You're going to have to keep me on track with the numbers until we get to 15. I don't know what I did with those. You know, it's been kind of a crazy day. It's been raining. Hi, Carol. It's been raining. We had the storm. We had a wedding today, plus the meeting. So it's been kind of a crazy day, <laughs> a crazy weekend, actually. So I'm just, my brain has not caught up. You know how it is. All right. These are antiqued copper. They're called Mojave Mesquite in copper. So we have the little circular, almost like a crescent, but it comes around a little bit further. And then we have the dot motif in here. These are on a fish hook back. I do just have one of these as well. This is the length and the size. So these are going to be number five. Hi, Tammy. Good to see you. Number five, Mojave Mesquite in copper. Just one of those available. All right. So now I have to find a question. A good question because... We hate the dumb ones, right? What's behind the copper, she asks. What's behind the copper? Yeah. What did you just say? What's behind the copper? Not sure I understand. I mean, so, nothing. Carol, maybe you can clarify that for me. They're all copper. Is there a disc? No, there's not. No, it's, um, it see, this is just all one piece. So maybe that's what it looked like. It's all one piece. That's just a design on the front of it. Sorry. <laughs> so, you know, some days are better than others, right? All right. We have five answers on this question. Five answers. We are going to take, okay, got it. We're going to take answer number three. Name something you shouldn't do on an airplane. Something you should not do on an airplane. And if you're going to do it, please do it while I'm not flying with you. I'd appreciate it. Jump out. Jump out was number five. Can you believe it's so far down? I guess they think people should know that, though. Say the word bomb. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Shoot a gun. Also, a bad, bad move. Throw up. None of those are on there, but they're all great suggestions for things not to do on a plane. Definitely don't want to say bomb in the airport. Fight with the pilot. Let's not fight with the pilot. That's not a good idea. It didn't make the list either. There are other things you should not do on a plane. Esley says fight. Open the door. That was number three. There you go, Carol. Fart. <laughs> Everybody would appreciate it if you didn't. Because, you know, there's just nowhere to go. No fresh air circulating. Although they say the cabin air is actually replaced every 30 seconds. I'm not sure I believe that. And I'm not going to bank on it. 
So open the door was the correct answer. Anybody else have some guesses? Esley said poop. That would be just as bad. Again, that has nowhere to go. Some other things you don't do on an airplane. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe it either, Tammy. It's very sketchy. I think that's a, a uh, line from the airlines. So number one is a bad habit that people have. A bad habit. Probably none of us do it. <laughs> Take your shoes off for the same reason, right? Kick the front seat. Oh, I wish you'd tell that to the people behind me. Somebody always kicking you, right? Smoke was number one. It's another thing. They ask you to put it in a certain mode when you get on the phone or when you never mind. Talk on the phone was number two. Open the window was number four. Those windows don't open, do they? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. So I don't know what idiot said open the window, but that was the other one. So we got all of them, sort of. <laughs> yeah, smoking, clipping your toenails. Another thing we would appreciate if you did not do on the airplane. <laughs> Ashley said chew loudly. Well, we can't let Max on the airplane then, right? Sorry, Max. I had to throw you under the bus there. No, throw me under the airplane. Throw you under the airplane. <laughs> all right. This one is called All About Me. Hi, Shannon. I just have one of these. These are a green pearly bead. They're kind of a light. They're between a light olive and like a pea green. Then we have these wavy discs. I love these wavy discs. They're so cool. I have this necklace myself in a different color. The little silver cage beads. So these are hollow inside and there's little perforations in them making a design. The earrings are the green pearly earrings. This is the link. So it is down here at that dropped waist. Again, Instagram is too far over. Let's, there you go. With the two inch extension that is included, you can have it down here in the lower belly. If you would like it a little bit shorter, you could fasten into this chain. Those links are big enough. You would be able to get your lobster clasp in there. So you could shorten it up a little bit like this. So just one of these remaining. This is all about me in green. And we're still missing those number cards for this set. So that is number six. Number six. Did I say hi to Shannon? Yep. Okay, good. I thought I did, but you know, sometimes you think you do things and you didn't really do them. You just thought them and it never kind of came out of your mouth. So that happens a lot. All right. These are clip-ons. So if you know anybody who wears clip-ons or if you just love these and you're willing to wear clip-ons to have them. Hi, Marlo. These are called Life of the Garden Party in pink. I have two of these available. These are a light pink rhinestone in the center of that flowery frame. And then we have a halo of white rhinestones around this bottom portion. Again, these are clip-ons. They have the little silicone stoppers in there to help make them more comfortable. Um, if they are too tight when you get them, I have bent this little piece out just a little bit. You have to do it very gently so you don't break it off. But you can bend this little clip part out just a tiny bit and it will not sit against your ear as hard so life of the garden party in pink these are clip-ons they are number seven two of those available all right number eight i guess i'm doing earrings <laughs> number eight these are a mirrored hematite so a dark gray in color like a charcoal and then we have the regular hematite rhinestones around those top two edges so these are triangular they are post earring that post is up at the top this is the length and size these are super classy looking ladies super classy i love these have one pair left exalted elegance in silver are we at number eight max yes Okay, these are number eight. Exalted Elegance in silver is number eight. Just one of those. 
Next up, we have another one and done. This is Fruity Fashion. Fruity Fashion in purple. So this is kind of a plummy purple. We have opaque beads with the cute little flowery silver tops. And then we have crystal type beads also in that purple, along with, again, those cage beads. There you go. The earrings are the opaque purple beads on a silver fish hook back. This is the length. So it's hanging down to mid abdomen. Hi, Allison. With the two inch extension, it's gonna hang more around belly button level here. Again, you could shorten it a little bit if you wanted to just by fastening into that chain to get it right under the bust. This is Fruity Fashion in purple. It is number nine tonight, and we just have one of those. Are you disturbing the little girls, Max? I, just knew, I didn't know where they were. <sighs> Making the little girls fuss. All right. This one we have two of remaining. This is a mirrored blue crystal cut bead along with mirrored silver crystal cut beads. This is on the black metal chain. We have black metal beads up at the top. This is the length. So it is about a quarter of an inch below that collar. Hi, mom. With the two inch extension, it's going to be almost mid chest. So right in, right here, it's going to be just like one finger width above mid chest. I have two of these left. Interstellar Influencer in blue. I do also have the bracelets to go with these. So if you would like a bracelet with this, I do also have that bracelet. He just didn't take it out. Um, they are stretchy bracelets and they look just like this. They're just stretchy. So Interstellar Influencer. This is number 10. Number 10. And we have two of those. We were affected by Ian Carroll. Um, we got a lot of wind and a lot of rain. Not as bad as Florida, of course. But it hit the, um, the Carolinas pretty hard. Uh, a lot of people were out of power. So more than half of our congregation was out of power. Some are still out of power, but they are starting to get that back online. Um, we didn't have a whole lot of damage as, as far as like trees and houses and that kind of thing. Not a lot. We did have some flash flooding. We've got branches down in the yard, but they're not big ones. So it wasn't horrible, but we did get affected. It's still raining today. I mean, it's raining, just like misting raining. Um, so it's not too bad today, but the hurricane is gone. It was gone by about nine o'clock on Friday night. Hi, Spency. Hi. Spency came to check out my jewelry show. The girls love the jewelry. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Our lights actually never even went out. Um, they flickered several times and enough to restart my computer, but they didn't stay gone. So. All right. One, two, three, four. Okay, this one has four answers. We're on our second question today. Let's go with number two. Name someone actors always thank in an award acceptance speech. Someone that actors always thank when they give their awards acceptance speech. Hi, Taylor. Their parents. Parents were number two. So T Tammy got that one. Let's see. Mom, God. It's always mom, right? It's not mm -hmm. just parents. It's mom. Mom did it. Their manager. Manager was not on there. The Lord. Yep, that one wasn't on there, surprisingly. You would think it would be. The Academy? Not the Academy. Their peers. Um, a couple different kinds were on there. Their spouse was number four. Cast members were not on there. The director was number three. Number one was the producer. So you got them all. Producer, their parents, their director, and their spouse or mate. All right. So Tammy got that one right. This one is called a cork in the road. These are cork 
over silver hoops with multicolored little pieces in there. So these have, I'm gonna try to tell you, um, kind of a reddish pink. I don't know if that's actually red or if it's just reddish pink. There may be red and pink. It's hard to tell. Blue, orange, green, purple. So they pretty much have everything, all the different colors, along with that natural cork look. This is the length and size. So these are a cork in the road. I have two pairs. These are going to be number 11 tonight. Number 11. We're almost to 15 and then I have numbers again. I don't know what I did with those. That really bugs me. All right. Number 12, Emblazoned Era in red. I actually own this necklace in the hot pink, but this is the red version. So we have little geometric shapes, ovals, uh, marquee shapes, squares set on point. They're in this bar necklace. The earrings are the little oval red beads on a fish hook back. This is the length. So it is just below that collar. You've got about a quarter inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, it is going to sit right here. So just above center chest, right about there. So this one is emblazoned era in red. We have two of these. This is number 12. Yep. Number 12. He's keeping me straight. Usually it's me keeping him straight. This time the tables are turned. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Get these down. These are also antique popper, outer planes in copper. These have the scratch texturing on them in that antique copper, have the round cutout in the center. These are on a copper fish hook back. This is the length and size. We are down to one pair of these. So this is my last pair. Outer planes in copper is number 13. Did anybody do anything fun this weekend? The only thing fun I got to do was go to the wedding today. Hi, Terry. Good to see you. We got to go to the wedding today. That was kind of fun. It's always fun to watch people get married. Other people. <laughs> get to hear that wedding talk and all those good reminders all over again. You know. Yep. You didn't do anything fun, Mom. Nobody did anything fun. We need to start having some more fun around here. All right. Like I mentioned, there's several ladies we know that rock these wooden necklaces. Actually sold the black one over this weekend. You're quarantined, Carol. Oh, yuck. Fall cleaning. Uh, yeah. I can understand that. So let me show you the three colors, and then I'll show you the necklaces individually. So this is the pink. And we have a purple. And this one they call blue. It's a bluish, it's kind of a greenish blue. They're also with espresso wood. The purple is the only one I have two of. So this is what it looks like. It has espresso wood, abstract beads, and little, I call these like chips. Hi, Aunt Dora. And then the colored round wooden beads in between. Again, has that loop and bead closure. The earrings are the color, whatever color the bead is down here. So on these, we have the pink on a fish hook back. This is the length. It's an almost mid-abdomen. This one, again, does not have an extension because it has that loop and bead closure, but you can put a necklace extension between that loop and bead. And if you need one of those, make sure you let me know. So we have one in the pink, we have one in the blue, we have two in the purple. So these are called Cozumel Coast. And just tell me which color you would like. What number are we up to? 14. We are on 14. There we go. That's our last one we don't have the number for. <laughs> That's great. 
And here you go. You can hang that with the number ones. Number 15. We have numbers again, ladies. Now we have numbers. Leafy Laguna in multi. So these are like a sage green and a yellow. These are leather pieces, kind of look like a little leaf shape hanging from this silver forward facing hoop. This is the length and size. So I have two pairs of these. Leafy Laguna in multi. These are number 15. See how nice that is when we have numbers. <laughs> I wish I'd quit losing the numbers and we wouldn't have that problem. But I did the show in another room the other day when we um, had that hurricane coming through and I wasn't sure if we were going to lose power. And I think I probably put the numbers back there somewhere because I used them that night. All right. This one has four answers. This is an interesting thing to think about. Kind of gives me a funny mental picture. Let's do number two. So number two will be the winning answer. Name a type of shoe. It would be hard for a tightrope walker to perform in. A type of shoe. It would be hard for a tightrope wa walker to perform in. I can't say that. Slippers, horseshoes, high heels was number one. Point shoes, not point shoes, not flip flops, but that was close to one of them. Heels was number one. Platform was number four. Platform was number four. High heels was number one. What other two types of shoes would it be hard for a tightrope walker to perform in? Flip flops is kind of close to one. Yep, sandals was number three. What other one? Type of shoes. We're missing that last one. Not Crocs, although that would be terrible. Those are dangerous. Clogs are also <laughs> would be terrible. There's a reason they do this barefoot. Boots, you got it, Marlo. The boots. Be hard in boots because you can't feel that the the tightrope. I think it would be hard to do it in any shoes. Personally, usually they have either those um, the really thin shoes on their feet, or they just wear no feet, no shoes at all. They're just in tights because they need to be able to feel that tightrope underneath them, so that they can stay on it. And we all like it when they stay on it. All right, next piece. These are called Canyon Canoe Ride in multi. So we have the crescent shape at the bottom in a polished silver. This has the blue crackle stone in the oval. And then we have white and blue alternating crackle stones in the round shape at the bottom. These are hung by a thin wire from a fish hook back. I have three pairs of these. This is the length and size. That's what they look like. Nice upgrade to your crackle sets, whether they're white or blue or both. So these are Canyon Canoe Ride in multi. Three of those available. Number 16. Number 17. One of the flock in copper. So these are a feathery shape. They have that nice feather detail on them. I do just have one pair of these. These are in antique copper. This is the length and size. And Terry, they're not backwards. <laughs> There's a story behind that. She sent me hers because they came undone and I put it back on for her and didn't realize I'd put one on backwards. So don't send them back to me. I might put them on backwards. <laughs> one of the flock in copper. These are number 17. You're never going to let me forget that. It's okay. I will never forget having done that. <laughs> the craziest thing. All right. Another wooden necklace. I just have one of these left. This is called Eco Extravagance in red. Also has the little espresso bead earrings. 
And then we have shapes in these in the espresso and kind of the blonde wood. This one's multi colored. And then we have this one looks like a little ball of yarn. It is in red, again, showing very orangey red. Purple wedding necklace from the beginning of the show. Got it, Carol. That was Dominican disco in purple. So this one looks like a little ball of yarn in red. This one is on a chain, so it does have an extension. So this one is about three eighths of an inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, it is gonna sit right here in the middle of the chest. So we have one of these eco extravagance in red. This one is number 18. Do we need to go back to that wood necklace so she can see it again? Just keep passing it through every now and then. Did you need to see it again or did you just want it, Carol? Yeah, just, just, I just pass it through real quick. Just no, pass just, it through. There's only one of them. Yeah. So that's the one you're asking about. That purple one. It's number and three. It's number three. He says, you want it? Okay. She didn't need to see it again. She just wants it. Okay. She says, stop tempting her with it. <laughs> right, Carol? Yeah. Got it. All right. We have a cuff bracelet in black metal. So this is black metal. And then we have one row of rhinestones right through the middle. And you can see that it's has open space in between each of those bands. I have two of these. This is called a point of pride in black. What I love about these cuffs is that this metal isn't so hard that you can't squeeze it a little bit if you need to adjust it or stretch it just a little bit. We're doing this. Do it very carefully. Only do it once. This is a point of pride in black. And we have two of them. It's going to be number 19. See how neatly I grabbed that off my desk? <laughs> it was sitting on my desk. It's pretty, so. All right, this one is called Heard It on the Airwaves in blue. So we have the blue with that UV finish or iridescent finish over it. These are acrylic beads and an emerald cut, that rectangular shape with the facets. The earrings are those same beads, just a little bit smaller on a fish hook back. I have three of these. This is the length, so about three eighths of an inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, it is gonna sit right down here to the middle of the chest. So just right at the middle of the chest, at the bottom of it. This is Heard It On The Airwaves. Three of those available. It is going to be number 20. All right, let's find another question. Oh dear. So it's not good. <laughs> well, this will get you all going. Six answers available on this one. Let's see. Let's go with number four. Name something you try to avoid hitting when you're sledding down a hill. So you're on your sled, you're going down the hill. What do you try to avoid hitting? Do you avoid anything? Or you just kind of mow it all down? Trees. Tree was number one. A rock was number two. I can see you people have been sledding. People. Yes, Jane. That was the right answer. So people was the winning answer. Um, a hill. Not another hill. That would be bad. A boulder. What else do you try to avoid hitting when you're on the sled going downhill? A pond. <laughs> pond would be bad if it was not frozen. That was not on the list either. All these answers not on the list. We got tree, we got rock, we got people. Animals. Animals, if it's not on the list. Hopefully they're not on the hill when you're sledding down. Children wasn't on there because I guess they included that with people. What else do you not try to hit? These are all inanimate objects now. So literally not alive. Three more. What other things do you avoid? Try to avoid. Bushes. Bushes is a good one. Bushes was not on here. Cars were on there. That was number six. Buildings. 
Oh, hopefully you aren't sledding down toward those buildings, but it does happen. You would definitely want to avoid that, but it's not on the list. All right, I'm going to give you the last two. Number three was bump. You do not want to hit a bump because it's probably going to throw you off your sled. Been there, done that. And a fence was number five. Watch out for those fences when you're out sledding. I don't think I've ever run into any, but I've had fences in my way. Those fences, you know, they'll jump in front of you if you don't watch them. All right. Number 21. Number 21 is Barefoot Bohemian. This is crackle stone as well in oval and kind of a donut shape or a saucer shape. We also have these pretty little silver beads. They have a cute etched marquee design on them. I don't know if you can really see that. Have a nice little design and it has one little wooden bead up here. The earrings are the purple crackle stone beads on a fish hook back. This is the length, so not quite to the center of the abdomen, but with the two inch extension, it will definitely be center abdomen. So up in the upper abdomen or in the center abdomen, we just have one of these left. This is barefoot bohemian in purple, and it is going to be number 21. We're all our purple lovers tonight. I haven't seen Helen in a little while. I know they've had a bunch of things going on, so. Busy, busy, busy. This one I own myself, and I wear it with a flowered skirt that has all these colors in it. This is called Setting the Fashion in blue. This is kind of a tortoise shell with uh, all the different colors of blue. A little bit of like a white in there. Also, you can see a little bit of mother of pearl finish shining in there our silver u-shape cut out at the top and then the earrings are these pretty tassels very fine tassels on a fish hook back this is the length so it's hanging right below the bus really good length with the two inch extension it's going to come down just above the center abdomen so you're going to be still hanging slightly above center this one is called Setting the Fashion in blue, and this is our last one. Also a really classy looking necklace. Number 22. Do you put this up here? Mm -hmm. Okay. We don't usually do hair bows, I so I, I okay. always forget. Saw Amy wearing one today, so. Oh, okay. You saw Amy wearing one today. Well, since Amy wore one today, we have to show these. This is a hair clip. This is called Know All the Triangles. Know All the Triangles. This is in gold. So we have little linear stripes in this gold, and then these are hammered. This is on an alligator clip. So it'd probably be good for, you know, holding my hair back on the side. Weird, right? I do actually have one of these in silver myself. Don't have any more in silver to sell. I have two in gold. So this is know all the triangles. This is the size of it. Just holding it up next to my head so that you can kind of see gauge size. This one is number 23. Yeah, I'm noticing sisters wearing jewelry. I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah, Max is paying attention to the sisters wearing jewelry. I don't know if I should be worried personally. <laughs> Not too worried. All right. This is called Smile for the Camera in silver. Hi, Violet. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. These are teardrop hematite rhinestones. So they are that dark gray in color. Single solitaire in white up above it. This is the length and size. These are some pretty cool earrings too. I love my hematite. These are called Smile for the Camera in silver. And I have three of these. Number 24. Number 25. This one is called Above the Clouds in orange. So these are kind of a frosted or semi-translucent orange 
teardrop shaped bead. I almost lost that word for a second. And then the earrings are the smaller version of that same bead on a fish hook back. This is the length, so about a quarter inch below that collar. You can just see that little collar peeking out right there. With the two inch extension, it will sit right here just above mid chest. Oh, my nose was so tickly. It's the fan. This is called Above the Clouds in orange. I had to get my hand sanitizer. And it is number 25. I used pepper in my kitchen earlier on the pork chops that I made. And it made me sneeze so many times. So if you need to sneeze, you know, just go sprinkle some pepper on something in your kitchen. Works for me every time. All right, we are at our next question, right? We are. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. All right, this one has four answers, four answers. And it's coffee themed, so it's perfect. You know, I love my coffee. That's what's in my cup right now. Coffee in my special C cup. Uh, let's see, four answers. We're gonna take number three. Name a phrase that starts with the word coffee. It says word or phrase. So in some cases, this could be a compound word, not necessarily a phrase. But it starts with coffee. My mornings, that's what start with coffee. Coffee cup, that's a good one. That one wasn't on there. Coffee mate is also a good one. I like that. Coffee cake, that was it, Carol. Coffee cake was number three. Coffee creamer, I love my creamer. Coffee cup, coffee cup. I can't believe they didn't put that on there. Coffee flavored isn't on there. Coffee lover is not on there. Look at all these things they missed. Then they only got four things. Amateurs, coffee addiction, that's mine. Coffee maker was number one. Coffee drinker. Coffee drinker didn't make it. Coffee grounds. Oh, that's kind of close. Coffee break. That's my favorite one, Violet. That's number four. What do we have before we have grounds? Grounds got to come from somewhere. Coffee beans. That was the other one. Coffee beans. Love, love, love the coffee. All right. Without it, morning does not get started. I woke up one day <laughs> on my own and my little granddaughter, the, the four-year-old Taylor, she's only three at the time, looked at me and says, Grandma, I didn't know you could wake up without coffee. So apparently she also knows that that is the, the morning starting fluid in this house. All right, last one of these. This is called Fearlessly Floral. These are little silver flower cutouts with orange rhinestones. The earrings are the little silver flower cutouts. Yes, she does, Violet. She knows grandma. On a fish hook back. This is the length, so about three eighths of an inch below that collar, a little bit further below the collar. With the two inch extension, it is gonna sit down about mid chest or just above it. This one is called Fearlessly floral. In orange, this is my last one of these, number 26. I do also have this in the shiny copper, and I have two of those if you're interested in the shiny copper instead. This necklace is prettier in person. Than that necklace on. is, Max is saying that necklace is prettier in person than it is on, and I totally agree with him. All right, next up. This is vintage paparazzi. Very, very hard to find. I couldn't even find a picture to put on my website. So this is called Creek Couture in black. This is black stone. So a chunky stone in here. And then we have the little donut beads out to the side, little oval stones on the side. We have our silver bar right here and then two lengths of chain down below the earrings are the black stone beads on a fish hook back 
This is the length. So it's right down there at the bust. With the two inch extension, it is gonna sit right here over the bust. Come down here. Also only have one of these. So if you wanna get your hands on some vintage, vintage paparazzi, this is it. Creek Couture in black is going to be number 27. You will not have to worry about somebody else showing up in that necklace because it's not going to happen. All right. Next up, we have another cuff bracelet. Also in black because I had black out. This is called, I just looked at it, Professional Prima Donna. Professional Prima Donna. So this is black wire stacked in a cuff, dotted with little white rhinestones. Of course, open on the back. Again, because it's wire, very flexible. So you would be able to pull this out or squeeze it in if needed to change the size and shape just a little bit to fit you. I do just have one of these. This is called Professional Prima Donna, and it is number 28. Number 29. Since we're doing black metal, here's another black metal one. Just one of these. This is called Bell of the Ball. This is a smaller necklace, a daintier necklace. So we have crystal cut beads. I had to look. Faceted beads in that black, as well as the polished round beads. The earrings are the polished round beads. And of course, all the hardware is the black metal as well which is an off black. It's not a jet black. This one is just a quarter of an inch below that collar. So you see just that little hem of the collar up there. With the two inch extension, it'll still be in the upper chest right here. Sorry, I forgot to show you that before I took it down. This is called Bell of the Ball. In black, it is number 29. Let's see, number 30. Number 30 is Drop Dead Duchess in gold. So these are a gold acrylic teardrop faceted on the front in a gold frame and on a gold fish hook back. This is the length and the size. We have two of these. Drop Dead Duchess is number 30 tonight. All right, we're getting ready to do our last question. Our last question to get you another chance to win a free piece. Let's see, I'm looking for a good question. Oh, here, this is a fun one because I've been doing it all night. Number six, oh no, six answers. Sorry, not number six, six answers available. Let's go with... Let's go with number six. Name a part of the body that often itches. A part of the body that often itches. We're looking for number six. So it's actually the least popular answer. Your feet. That was number four. Hard to get to in your socks, right? Nose all the time. Number three. That was number three. Your head is number one. Your bum, nope, not on there. Leg, not on there. Uh, let's see, nose, nose, head, leg, back. Back was number two. Hand, ankle, head. Head was number one. Armpit. <laughs> Don't let anybody see you doing that. So we've gotten head, back, nose, and feet. Head, back, nose, and feet were already answered. Eyes. Yes, Shannon, your eyes. That was number six. So you won the last one. And let's see, can you get the very last answer that's available? It was number five. You were close, Jane, before. We probably should have put forehead, but I guess that goes with head, right? Toes. Those would go with your feet. So if it's not your armpit, 
What is it? It's your arm. Yes. It's your arm. Okay. So that was our last one. Your elbow. Yes. The elbow does. The back of the knees. All of those things itch. Everything itches, right? <laughs> Especially during allergy season. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but when my allergies are acting up, you know, I'm congested or whatever, my ears are popping. I also get more skin itches. And I don't know if it's because of the allergies or because bugs are out during that time of year and you get more bites, but we definitely get more itchies. All right, next piece. This is number 31. I did just get one of these. This is called Pardon My Fabulous in gold. So this is the creamy white pearly. This is a disc. This is kind of a hammered. If you could hammer a pearl, this is what it would look like because it has those little indentations in it. Also have a chunky gold piece. And then we have abstract shaped pearly beads at the bottom. This is kind of like that paper clip chain, but it's not quite the same. The earrings are the creamy white pearly beads on the goldfish hook back. This is the length. So it is down at mid abdomen and I still have it hung wrong. It's crooked. With the two inch extension, it's gonna come down more like around the belly button area right here. So this one is Pardon My Fabulous in gold. It is number 31. Get rid of that screen. Number 32. We have one of these. This is a stretch bracelet in gold. This is called Urban Stackyard. Urban Stackyard. I'm going to try to hold still so you can see the texturing on this. As much coffee as I drink, you can't hold still. <laughs> this is a stretchy bracelet. It stretches in between each of those little gold pieces. So this one is going to be number 32. I do just have one of these. Carol, you're our winner for tonight. So you're going to get a free piece this week. That makes that purple wooden necklace yours for free. Violet likes it when we show gold because she can't wear gold. So then it's not tempting to her. <laughs> Next up, we have Brags to Riches in black. These are shiny black faceted beads along with faceted silver. And then we have smaller little faceted beads hanging off the outside or the bottom. The earrings are smaller versions of the same black faceted beads. This is the length. So it's about an inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, it is gonna sit down here just below mid chest. So we have one of these. This is Brags to Riches in black. This one is number 33. Number 34. We have these cute gold, you notice violet gold, <laughs> gold earrings. These have the blue crackle stones hanging off the bottom on a gold hoop with little gold spacers in between. This is the length and size. So I have two pairs of these. They are called Poshly Primitive in gold. They are number 34. I try to help out where I can, Violet. <laughs> and number 35. This is one of my favorite pairs of earrings. I wear them for casual all the time. These are called Insane Chain. So the top of this, this little top piece, and it looks like lattice work, is called is um, copper. So copper up here. And then these chains at the bottom are copper, brass, and silver. Maybe just copper and silver. I thought there was brass in there. Anyway, copper and silver down at the bottom. And the antiquing. This is the length and size. 
These are great earrings to wear just by themselves, or you can wear a necklace, pair a necklace with it. This is called Insane Chain. And we have two more of these pairs of earrings. Number 35. All right, so that is our last piece for tonight. Tonight's show did start a new invoice period. I don't know if, I actually don't know if any of you are going to get an invoice this week because we had, it was kind of quiet this week. So I don't know if you had enough to ship out. But if you're supposed to get an invoice, if you were supposed to get one yesterday, you will get it today because we had pre-orders coming in and I wanted to make sure they were going to make it here in time for me to send them out. So they got delayed by weather. So if you were supposed to get an invoice, you will get it tonight. Otherwise, you'll get one next Friday. We will definitely have new pieces on Wednesday. We're going to have more pieces than usual because our shipments are finally coming in. So 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, Wednesday night, same place, um, same location, same jewelry. Well, different jewelry, same brand. All right. So you guys have a great beginning of the week. Stay safe until Wednesday and we will see you then. Bye.